It sounds exactly like... It might even be the same pitch. Woo, GMAT. Yay. I have been thoroughly enjoying the Resident Evil 4 remake. <laughs> <laughs> the survival horror genre is without a doubt my favorite genre of game. This might be nostalgia talking, but I think the survival horror genre really hit its stride and even possibly peaked in the late 90s and early 2000s. A bunch of great Resident Evils and Silent Hills, some Dino Crisis games, a heavily underrated game called Obscure. Oh! Oh, oh God, just bail, just bail, just bail. All of these games were as good as the last and all felt totally original, but also familiar and fun. The genre was just on fire. Now the current, for lack of a better word, fad of video game remakes is getting mixed receptions with gamers. The biggest argument against them being, why not come up with an original idea instead of remaking everything? And to those people, I say, shut up. You want an original idea? How about the next time someone takes a swing at an original concept with some original characters that we've never seen before and creates an original story? How about you get behind that game and support what it was trying to do even if it didn't hit the mark for you personally. You f dweeb. The industry has moved so fast and most of these games are over 20 years old. There's nothing wrong with taking something amazing and bringing it to a new generation with technical improvements. Why not just play the original is one of the laziest f***ing arguments I've ever heard. There are a thousand reasons why even dedicated gamers like myself don't have their original sh Mine being that I have brothers who were older and stronger and they took them. It's as simple as that. But these f***ing nerds who argue for the availability of old gen hardware and games are, are just being credulous and they can suck a fart. <laughs> so unnecessary. <laughs> I'm going so hard. I'm so sorry. Resident Evil 2 on the PS1 was one of the greatest survival horror games ever made. But the Resident Evil 2 remake shits all over it. And why would I not want that? A better version of something that I love. It's stupid. It's nostalgia blindness. And it doesn't tarnish the original. If you love it so much, marry it. Or play it. All right, let's move on to something a little nicer. The first survival horror game I ever played was Silent Hill 1 on the PS1. It was my friend Jack's eighth birthday party. And our entire group of friends did not think that I could beat Metal Gear Solid 1 in under four hours. Little did they know I'd been training for this day since the first time I'd placed that disc into a PS1. I smashed their challenge and made it look illegal. Then we discovered that in Jack's MGS1 packet, there was a Silent Hill 1 demo. Some copies came with this demo disc as they were both developed by Kojima Productions. That's just good marketing. Great work, Kojima. I played this game and everybody left the room. Jack had nightmares and I think I ruined his birthday, but I was so involved. I was glued to the screen for this brief demo and I was shocked that it was real. I'd never played a horror game before. I'd missed Resident Evil upon release. My brothers weren't interested in this genre. This was my first taste of a feeling that I would forever chase in gaming. But where did it all start? Like I said, I jumped on the survival horror wagon in 2002 with a game that had already been out for three years. In fact, Silent Hill 2 had been out for a year. Imagine my face when I discovered that. Jumping back and playing Resident Evil the following week had me playing a game that was at that point seven years old and I was loving it. But we still have to go back further to two years before I was even born to discover a game that holds the Guinness World Record for the first ever 3D survival horror game. This game is the forefather of this beautiful genre. Without this game in 1992, the Resident Evil 4 remake we've been thoroughly enjoying over 31 years later probably wouldn't exist. The game was originally released on PC in 1992 and ported to 3DO in 1994. Two options that were both not available to me, mainly because I didn't get a PC for gaming until 2012. And when the 3DO came out, I was sucking tit milk for nutrients. <laughs> Why did I say it like that? But today we have a chance to finally try this game. Ladies and gentlemen, Alone in the Dark. Oh, okay, so we can pick from two protagonists. I'm gonna play as this ginger boy because that lady looks like, she looks like she's seen some stuff. Jesus Christ. And now I can see through time and space. She looks like existence is a, is a joke to her. She looks like on her resume, 
in, in special skills, she writes cutting. On my door, a dull oh my brass God. plate says private detective. I love that audio. Call me Carmi. The The others others call me me the the reptile. reptile. These days, I leave my letters unopened. Bills and threats to send in the receivers just ruin my day. I'm feeling really connected to this guy now. If it was me, it'd be like, These days, I don't even open up my MyGov account. Unpaid taxes just ruins my day. (laughs) Oh, Yeah, let's go with him. I like him. So basically, I'm going to this old house... Because <laughs> that's that's his reason. I'm gonna go there because I wanna. Oh, these graphics! Oh, these graphics are next level. Oh my god! No, thank you to that jump scare. Frog jump scare. Uh oh. Who's watching? All right, I've looked up controls on my second screen, and it says the run mechanic is difficult. You gotta like tap. Oh, I'm really trying. Oh, there we go. Run. Yeah. Enter to get to your actions menu. Press enter to access the actions menu in your inventory. Note the number next to your character will be 20. Oh, the music stopped. This is your energy and you will die if it reaches zero. Open slash search. Oh, so I, I select what thing I want to do and then I press space by to use it. Well, let's stick with open slash. What is that? Oh God. Oh God. Oh Lord. What's in here? Open slash search. Open slash search. Ah, oh, God. You can find a rifle. Take. Oh, 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 God. Okay. All right. Okay. It's, it's, it's uh, a rifle. Reload. I hope I'm aiming at it. How do I use it? I don't know what the action button is. Oh, okay. All right. You press up. Use left and right to aim and up. Gotcha. Oh. I did it. I'm amazing. No, you're not. Yes, sir. No, you're not. Yes, sir. And we got to search this bad boy. Because it has hidden compartments. No? Maybe that was a different piano. Oh! Oh! Oh my god, what is that? Oh, you're having a laugh. What does the letter say? They are coming! Oh my god! You wanna go? Let's go! Come on, come closer. (laughs) Alright. So far, so good, people. I haven't left the first room, but feeling good. Didn't realize there were gonna be so many enemies. Straight from the get-go. What's in here? You found an old Indian cover. What's an old Indian cover? I bet an old Indian cover is one of those things you're not allowed to say anymore. You found a book! Fragment of the myth of the golden fleece. Oh been- my god, I know that's gonna have important details in it. <sighs> but I'm making a video right now, bruv. The music's getting a little bit f***ing silly. I'm just gonna keep it off for this room. I'll turn it on in the next room. Nothing important. Should I search everything? No! Nothing important. What about here? Nothing important. The run thing is really, you've you've just got to, it's so hard to get right. Can I search? Oh my God. The hell was that? I'm searching. I'm searching. Eh. What about this wooden horse? Nope, just rocks. Whoosh, it rocks. Nothing important. Well, apparently there's nothing important anywhere in this game. What's this? An oil lamp. Look at my eyes. I'm a man who's seen stuff. This guy definitely saw the Nazis march into Paris. I'm leaving. Goodbye. Good, goodbye. Hello, it's me. (laughs) I'm here to make sure everyone's acting fairly. Whoa, that window's broken. You ought to fix that, bud. You found a bow. Ugh. First off, I'm going to turn the sound effects off so I can read this book because it said something about a bow. Uh, Here we go. Fragment. Oh, I just turned off the sound effects. I'm going to have to just put up with it. It's three inches of sharpened metal, not in... Yeah, that didn't really say anything that important. Or it did, and I'm an idiot. Let's look in here. Hello. The one tip on this page next to me uh, that I could see is like save constantly. So I'm going to keep saving as much as I can. I'm going to use different saves as well. <laughs> Nothing important. Nothing important. You found an oil can. Next room. <laughs> How do I go first person? Now I'm not walk. Actually, you know what? GMAT one. Let's see if this. Yeah, I figured. I figured. But you gotta, Jesus. You gotta learn these things. Resume a saved game. Yes, please. Oh, I can only get one save. Well, that's good. GMAT one it is. All right, don't fall through the floor. Tip number one, bad idea. Well, hello, lady on the wall. Hello, mother f- 
<laughs> it's locked. How could they do this? Is there something behind the door? Can I sh shut the door? Nope. God, he's so slow, it's criminal. Ooh, a key. I wonder where that goes. What just happened? Nice! An old cavalry saber. <gasps> oh, I broke it. Oh. That's upsetting. You live, you learn, you love. Only I would have the saber for two goddamn seconds. And oh my God. Oh, I was using the wrong, I've got to be in fight, fight. Get out of there. Get out. Yeah, how's that? I slap you. I kick you. I kick you. Yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna kick you in the hand. My hand. Hand kill, hand shot. Got him, got him. Now you're nothing. You fade into existence. Well, that was that I lost eight health and I broke a sword. So far, that <laughs> not so good. Mm, you see that? I almost threw up. You make me sick. Well, hello, pink room. May I? Nothing important. What is happening? It's locked. Can I use that key that I found before? Nope. A vase. I bet there's something in the vase. Hold on. Hold on, everybody. Oh, fuck. Bird up. Hello. Hey, you guys are watching Bird up. Just got to kick it. A couple of, uh. good, couple of good kickies. Uh. Oh, man, this thing's strong. Uh. Oh, this is not good. Uh. You feel weak. Uh. No. Uh. Oh, God, this is so hard. Uh. Yeah, just keep kicking it. Uh. Uh. Oh, my God. Uh. It's like American History X. Uh. Yeah. First aid. Oh, yes, 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 yes. Open search, you found a flask, eat, drink. God, I hope this is okay for me. Wow. 12, things are going well. Oh my God, what the hell is that? Let's find out. Whoa, 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 okay. I don't like that, I do not, oh God. We have two mirrors and we have two monsters. I don't know if that's anything. Let's read this thing. Don't right. place. Then. Beware of the Medusa. All right, I need to use the shields. I need to use the, the mirrors to make the monsters turn themselves into stone. Okay, you have a look at this. Yeah, but you feel real silly. What if I, oh, new idea. Can this thing hold the mirror for me? Oh, nice. <laughs> Oh, I hate those sounds. Oh, those sounds genuinely gave me shivers down my spin. <laughs> I win, you lose, goodbye. I have a feeling that that suit of armor will attack me if I go near it. <laughs> oh, I, I should have, I should have, oh, it took so much health. Oh, it's moving. Oh, I shouldn't have, uh, I, uh, uh, Gmat, Gmat1, Gmat1, what are you doing? Maybe I should load. It sounds exactly like It might even be the same pitch. Is, oh, is that a ghost? Box of cartridges. Like, like, like shotgun? Eight bullets, hell yes. Now will this ghost do anything to me? Oh yeah, that's for sure a ghost. What? Oh God! I made a mistake! Thank God for GMAT 1. We don't interact with the ghost. <laughs> also, GMAT 1. The whole GMAT 1 thing is sort of not working anymore because I don't know how to make GMAT 2. Oh, see, now I don't know where I am. Wait, what about this? What's in here? No, no, back up, back up. Whatever's in that bathtub is none of my business. Diary of Ger September 27th, 1924. He has come back. <gasps> His body was twisted. <laughs> he had to work. A curse is on their seto. From the foundations to the very... I didn't really learn much from that book, except uh, I got a masterclass in voice acting. Oh, Jesus. I don't know how far into this game we're going to get, but I'm very close to giving up. <laughs> it's so... It's so slow. Let's get around the ghost. You found a gramophone. Guess I could take it. That's so scary. I'm gonna assume for now, let's put the gramophone back. There's no room. All right, well, let's hold on the gramophone. I imagine that I'll play the gramophone. Is it phone? 
yeah, the gramophone, like play a particular record that'll calm that thing so I can go and take a crystal. If I've, if I know survival horrors and I'm pretty sure I know survival horrors, I guarantee she's gonna be calmed by the sweet, sweet sound of some music. Trust me, ghosts love music. There's two things in this world I know, it's ghosts and ladies. Oh, cool, camera angle. Oh my God, run. Oh, it, it, it's chasing me. Oh my God. Oh man. And GMAT one. Oh, at this point, I've got so much stuff. It's impossible to keep track of what's important because it's like, I've got a key, but I also have someone's shoe and it's not even their favorite shoe. Oh my God. Look at all those balls. Oh my God. <laughs> Say hello to my little friend. What are these? A box of sh You're having a laugh. I just said shoes. GMAT one. What did he win? Back up, just back up, back up, back, back up. I don't know what's going on in that room, but I can tell you quite happily, it has nothing to do with me. So why are all the zombies wearing Hawaiian shirts? Oh, that's simple layout. I should have known better. I wanted it to go better. Oh my God, don't. Ah! I think I just got sucked into another dimension. I wanted it to go better! You've had an arrow. Ah, oh, ball sack. What am I even looking at? I'm so overwhelmed. A record. I don't want to interact with these folks. Yep, I was gonna say in case it wakes them up. Oh, I'm stuck on the door. Fart in my mouth. Also, don't touch the people. Hey everybody, it's Editing Matt here. Um, I need you to take note of one thing because it's gonna come back later. For some reason, and I don't know how I did it or why I did it, but I left the record behind. I didn't mean to hit whatever button it was that put me over to leave. I don't know if I got confused by the shading of the words, but I did not mean to leave that record behind. God, the running system is such bullshit. There she is. How would you like to hear a lovely record? It's okay, I don't wanna carry it. I want to put the, wait, where's the, where's the, the, am I crazy? Did I, it's, I did not get, did I, where did it go? Oh God, is it possible that when I went up to it said, you don't have room for this? And I just didn't think. No, because then I got the arrows. Where is it? It's gotta be here somewhere. I'm looking at every picture. Oh, God damn it. Thank you guys so much for checking out this video. Uh, that'll do. I reckon that'll do. Maybe we'll play it on stream. I don't know. It was fun to go back in time and take a look at something that uh, kicked off a bunch of, you know, newer and better games. Um, but you know, it, for a game that came out in 1992, not bad at all. <laughs> And really genuinely for chunks of the game there, I was having fun. It had puzzles and and things that like hinted at very basic mechanics to games that came much later on. If you did enjoy that video, don't forget to like it. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel. Um, I appreciate you guys hanging around. I've seen a couple of comments of people, I guess sort of jokingly being like, hey, no more shorts, just longs. I, I, I promise you that the uh, the shorts that I've been dropping on YouTube, are, are it's more of an algorithm game. It's good to have that sort of stuff going out, especially while YouTube's pushing it. Um, but uh, I will continue to make YouTube shorts, YouTube, longs when I can and trying to get them out weekly plus a little extra when I can. But you know, the shorts are there to watch if you need a little extra taste, a little, a little, a little walk down memory lane. When I do a longer video with a big intro, like the last one I did, like the moth one does take a little bit longer to get the next one out. Cause that one took so much work. I don't need to explain it to you guys. You guys know what I'm doing. You guys are here to support and you guys have been doing amazing. Um, and I thank you for it. More content to come. Also, here's a Twitch clip of me talking about Ada Wong to finish off the video. How dare she wear clothes? I know. I know. How dare she not wear a long dress? Men, am I right, Benno? That being said, I do want her to empty a fart into my lungs. <laughs> I just thought of that. I've never said empty a fart into my lungs before. <laughs> I'm going to use that all the time now. <laughs> That's so dumb. I can't laugh like that much at myself. 